right, today is Juneteenth, a national holiday to acknowledge when the last slaves in the U.S. were made aware of their freedom in 1865. And did you know that one of the first places in the South where slaves were freed by the Emancipation Proclamation was St. Augustine, Florida? Here's more of that story. Tucked inside the property of an inn in St. Augustine, next to the swimming pool, there is a bell. It's known as the Freedom Bell. In 1863, when the Emancipation Proclamation was issued, it was announced that same year in St. Augustine at two locations on one day. The first in downtown St. Augustine. Gail Phillips, director of the Lincolnville Museum, says the second reading in St. Augustine took place on this particular plantation where people who had been enslaved on that plantation got to hear it. And to draw people to that spot, a bell was rung. Slaves were freed officially in St. Augustine because the Union Army was in the city. Remember, this was in the middle of the Civil War. So it didn't free, in 1863, it didn't free slaves in South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee. <laughs> the Union didn't control those areas yet, but they did control St. Augustine. But historian Roger Smith says things did not change immediately here. Instead of there being crying and rejoicing and hats thrown in the air. It was more a matter of people kind of looking around at each other and going, what do you think? I don't know, you know, because St. Augustine at that time might have been held by the Union, but the Confederate Army was all around. Phillips says freedom came immediately for some in St. Augustine. For some people, because they left. Left to live or fight for the Union in other states. And the bell? I don't think this actual bell was wrong. She says this may be a commemorative piece. Historians say it is in the general location near a convent where the proclamation was read, ringing in news of change. And to celebrate emancipation, the streets of Lincolnville and St. Augustine were filled with vendors and performers all day long to commemorate Juneteenth. Lincolnville was founded in 1866 by recently emanciated, uh, emancipated slaves, and Martin Luther King Jr. held civil rights rallies and marches in the community in 1964. We asked vendors and organizers what Juneteenth means to them. Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom, and for us, it's a freedom of speech and expression. Everything. Freedom. 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 It means looking at all of the sacrifices and hard work of our ancestors and our forefathers and foremothers and grow and learn from them. Let me tell you, it was hopping down there at the Juneteenth Festival in Lincolnville, and that celebration was centered around the Lincolnville Museum, where anybody can go any day of the week to learn more about the history of that area.